Georgia's easing more restrictions, letting bars and nightclubs reopen Monday under dozens of mandatory safety requirements. Those include limiting the number of people in the building to 25 or 35 percent total occupancy and serving drinks to only seated patrons in designated areas. Party sizes, they have to be no larger than six people. News for Jacks reporter Maggie Lorenz is speaking with a couple of local bar owners about how they're using this weekend to get ready. At the bucket here in St. Mary, starting Monday, there's going to be a lot more rules than just these two posted here on the wall. Everything will be full for Monday. Shelves are stacked. The fridge is full. This sign says it all. The bucket, new and improved and ready to welcome back customers. Ten weeks. Ten weeks Monday. That's how long owners Michael and Anne-Marie Ott have been shuttered, paying $2,000 a month in bills with no revenue. Big well, impact. Yeah. If it went much longer, we probably would have had locked the door. Because money only lasts so long and you still have all your bills to pay. But they finally got the green light from the governor. So this weekend, they're finishing up renovations and getting creative with their seating patterns. We're going to put um, a bar stool here and one over here and one over here. The retired Navy veterans will also set up their back patio with picnic tables and umbrellas. Back inside, customers don't have to, but bartenders will wear masks because that'd be very hard to drink a beer with a mask on. <laughs> and there will be hand sanitizing stations set up. So when you ring this bell, <coughs> drinks for everyone, but you'll immediately have to wipe it down and wipe your hands. Everything will be all sanitized once again. The bucket doesn't get a lot of tourists. We get a lot of t retirees, Army, Navy, Air Force. Air Force, Marines. So one of the hardest parts has been missing out on their regulars because to Michael and Anne Marie, this place feels like home. It really does. I mean, everybody's one basically in here. Yeah. The bucket would normally open at two o'clock on a Monday, but they say if they get a lot of interest, they'll open early for their customers around noon. Reporting in St. Mary's, I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.